notice when I cranked, it did start pulling off the shoulder there. Arms want to pop off the socket very badly. <laughs> Bicep. Yeah, let's stun this guy. <laughs> Yo, what's good guys, Articulated Ninja here, and realistically, do I think G.I. Joe Classified is dying? No. No, these fans are too starved, they've waited years for some figures, it's not dying. But, I see nothing good unless it corrects the path that it's currently on. Come on, usually in most lines, it gets better as more time goes. This line is getting worse as more time passes. It's supposed to get better, it's getting worse. Prices are getting worse, quality control is getting worse. This wasn't even supposed to be this type of video. This video was supposed to be me just praising another female badass military figure. So, I got cover girl in, and I was excited to finally get her and place her next to Pandora, Scarlet, and all my other badass military female figures right when right out of the box the first thing that i notice is her face it's it's not looking the same as you know some of the promo images she's looking a little thin I had to make sure the box said cover girl and not hungry girl because it was kind of looking like she, she needs some milk but i said you know what hey forget it it's fine it's cool certain angles she still looks really good so i got over the face and then the second the second that i go to check articulation and move her arm this happens and at first i said damn why does this feel so familiar but it's just not good holy shit i can already feel that it's loose holy shit Oh, that's why that was the last female they released and now we are right back here again with the next female in their line so both females back to back they look great but the quality control on them is just trash know your fucking place trash then i said hold up other people have had issues with zorana i wasn't the only one and dusty so let's see let's type in on youtube cover girl reviews and let's see if i'm the only one you know i'm still trying to be positive at this point and i'm like shit like hey maybe it's just me guess what i find out we were breaking the laws of physics it would go past that point but notice when i cranked it did start pulling off the shoulder there. Arms want to pop off the socket very badly. Bicep. Yeah, let's stun this guy. <laughs> and just like that, out of the box. Arm is broken off, so let me tell you this. It does look good. She just does look good. I just knocked that guitar right off again. Uh, so it fits on there. It's pretty good. It's tight. I can bend it. But if you just bend it just a little bit, it'll fall right off. So. But wait! Bending it around a lot, it starts to come a little loose. So, <laughs> just not very sturdy. There, it contained arm on there. I did order another one from Amazon just to see how that was gonna go. And look at that. It's pretty much the same thing, but this is even worse because this one is even worse. And I didn't add laughing memes because I'm laughing at these guys. I'm really just laughing at the scenario and the, the just the poor QC and myself in general. Because once again, I'm back here again with this line. Back to back. It's not like I actually know these content creators. I don't know them. I may know of some of them, but guys, you don't have to look hard. That's how common this QC issue was. That tons of content creators, some acknowledged it and some wanted to pretend it wasn't there. But if you watch their videos, you can clearly see their arm is barely hanging on and they chose to ignore it. But some didn't ignore it. And yo, shout out to you guys. Shout out to some of the people I included their videos in that little montage. Shout out to them that actually acknowledged it and said something about it and didn't try to hide it. But the 
point is, guys, this is fucking ridiculous. And some of you guys in between Zorana and CoverGirl, some of you guys got the red bat, you got the blue bat, you got the zebra print bat. You get, you get everything. You get every bat color that they release. And not me, though. I'm being super selective now. And literally, the next female that I buy is the same issue or worse in this case. And this is just scratching the surface. I didn't have to look through pages and look through tons of videos. No. And I still left some out. But that that's just some of them that I found. But I'm not going to keep looking just to give myself more of a reason to cry myself to sleep over the wasted money. And for anybody saying, oh, this is just a negative video, I'm just hating. Shut the fuck up. This is actually me saying, please, classify team Hasbro, get it together. I like your line. I want to continue to buy your line, but I'm not sure your line will continue to exist if you continue down this path of shitty QC and higher prices. Every line has QC issues, Hasbro, NECA, Mattel, Valiverse, sure, but usually as the line goes on, the QC usually, usually gets better, not worse. It's only getting worse. Stop switching factories. Stop laying the wrong people off. I don't know what's going on over there. And honestly, as a paying customer, I don't care. Hasbro, classified team, whoever, you're ruining what would otherwise be good ass figures. Figures that people have waited years for. We haven't got a cover girl figure ever in this scale, but just a cover girl figure in general in what, over five or 10 years or some shit like that? Just look, I like my classified figures. I want classified to be a successful line but both females back to back have the same exact issues for tons of people i wonder what their statistical rate is on these on these qc issues in general from the lightning collection to marvel legends to now classified and anybody that's gonna say hey well don't complain it's only 25 bucks or 30 bucks go buy a mesco go shut the fuck up man. for once seriously please you sound crazy so i guess when you go and sit down at a restaurant and have a cheeseburger for 10 to 20 dollars i guess if they bring you your burger and the entire patty's missing hey just shut the fuck up and don't complain just eat it right you guys ruin it for all the rest of us seriously you rainbow and sunshine youtube channels that want to pretend that nothing's wrong you ruin it for everyone else because the company banks on you guys to eat shit because that's exactly what you do you eat shit and you just shut up Come on, man. For every every keyboard warrior that's thinking about typing, hey, don't compare food. That's a necessity. These toys are just once. Bro, a $20 to $30 burger is not a damn necessity. Go have some goddamn bread. Matter of fact, go eat a banana, go eat an apple. Do that. You get the point that I'm trying to make. Anybody that says, hey, don't complain. It's only 20 or 30 bucks. Yo, keep that same logic in every other area of your life. Every other area. It's, it's pretty simple. Talk with your wallet. Stop eating your shit. Spread awareness. Spread videos like this. Um, or the Mad Hatter. He recently made an amazing video talking about quality control and you keyboard warriors whose logic makes absolutely no sense we just have to spread awareness and be selective with our choices but goddamn, i'm being selective with my choices and it's like at this point i'm i have no choice but to just start to not buy the female figures that i want and just the figures in general that i want i just that's my best bet at this point or to wait for 10 reviews to be done because some YouTubers and content creators are gonna pretend the issue isn't there. So I need to see at least 10 reviews before I buy a figure to make sure the QC is okay. So is classified dying? No, I don't personally think so. There's too many guys that enjoy eating shit for that to happen. But for me, it personally is. It's dying because I am just being more and more selective. The only more selective is to just get completely out of it or to buy one figure a year or two or maybe three a year which obviously no company is going to be sustainable off of everyone buying only two or three figures a year so for me it's just it's personally it's it's dying like this shit sucks i'm not one of these guys that's so wrapped up in nostalgia it's like i can't like valiverse and class no valiverse and classified they're military lines i put them all together i enjoy both of them i you know but it seems like valiverse is on a fucking up and up all that guy over there is doing is fucking improving while these guys over here who have 10 times the budget is is doing nothing but declining like what is going on and this is all before we possibly get a military 
big ass truck from Valorverse that more than likely will not be at a HasLab price. And this is before a possible game changer like that. Hasbro was making Hasbro look bad before Valor makes Hasbro look bad. Classified team, please get it together, man. Get it together. Your quality was better in the beginning. It's just going downhill. The more repaints you start giving us, it's going downhill. Stop switching up factories or whatever you're doing. Stop laying good employees off. Just stop with the bullshit. Like, we want to spend our money. I want to spend my money on these figures, but I also want to feel like I'm getting my, my money's worth. And I'm just, I personally just don't feel like that but let me know in the comments down below if i'm crazy or if you guys have also seen a decline in this line that i want to be successful let me know down below and for anybody that's like hey it's just a negative rant to hear <laughs> nah man i'm just i'm just testing out the algorithm don't even worry about it or go visit one of those content creators that's always happy and cheery or boring or whatever over here we just we, i'm just keeping it real that's all and i want this military line to just keep improving the same way other lines are just continuing to improve but let me know in the comments below if you guys can also see a decline in the overall quality of this line G.I. Joe, classified, Marvel Legends on my mind, Valiverse and NECA time, Mythic Legends I must find, SH Figure Arts I can't lie, Rebel Tech got my pockets dry, set action figures for life, Articulated Ninja is nice, yeah, you might wanna subscribe, action